Welcome back. As I've mentioned on the show uh, many times before, our friends at SVP host a, that singer Viking, um, Faf, right? Faf, yep. That's right. <laughs> singer Viking, uh, Viking Faf hosts a sewing class each month for our employees here at Martha Stewart Living. It's a class for beginners and a really great opportunity to learn the basics. One of the projects that uh, uh, was recently made by the students was this reversible purse. And it's very cute. Uh, this is what it looks like. And to make it secure, to uh, take on the subway, you just lock the handles like that and uh, carry it with all your valuables inside. Um, in our audience, um, uh, we have three of the students. Would you please raise your hands? There you are. Yes. Uh, so have you been learning a lot? Oh yeah. yeah, we did. It's the first time sewing for me since like sixth grade. Isn't it so a lot it was of nice fun? to kind of get back into it. It was right. Fun. So you had a sewing class in sixth grade. Yeah, it was the first time since then, so uh, it's it a good is. refresher. So what? Um, <laughs> so you've made a bag now. What else do you expect to make? Um, I think they had a class of apron making, okay. and right. what was the other one? I'm not even sure. But there's a lot of fun Maybe things coming up. Maybe you'll learn how to do so. inset sleeves on the blouse. That would be a little advanced, <laughs> but that's something to work up to, sure. Well, we have uh, Jamila Jordan, who is also one of the students in the class. And have you been having fun? Absolutely. Yeah. It was amazing. And what kind of machines are you sewing on there? We're actually using these machines You right are, the here. Singer Curvy. Mm -hmm. This is a new model Singer, which is very easy. Um, and if you can see the back, oops, I'll just turn it around, uh, very highly computerized. A simple machine, a curvy, uh, fun kind of shape. Isn't yep. it cute? It's amazing. Um, but so many different stitches that just at the touch of a button. So now, this was your first experience at sewing? Um, as an adult, yes. Yeah. I sewed a little bit when I was nine, watching my grandmother make quilts. But we're actually just going to go ahead and jump right on of into course. this craft. Okay. Um, now, you're going to teach me. I am. Okay, good. Let's I'm see what, walk you, let's through this see what you can teach me. Okay. <laughs> first thing, you're going to go to the website. We have all the instructions on the website. And you oh, can print out there this it template is. right here. And um, blow it up how many times? As much as big or as small as you need so it to. So what did we do it here? We did it 200% Okay. to get a bag around this side. Okay. And you're going to pick your pattern out. So this is a very nice Japanese cotton. Mm -hmm. I, I like this a lot. And you're going to pick your pattern and also a solid that complements the pattern. Okay. And you're going to cut out two of each. Okay. So liner and exterior. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to pin them facing each other. Oh, so you pin the, 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 the outside together. Yep. Okay. Right, right sides the together. Outside. Yep. And we're going to actually go ahead and just start sewing All along the, way the outside. Around. Okay. Yep. So this is a very easy machine. Yep. And don't forget to take the pins out. Now, how big, how big should the um, seam be? It's going to be a quarter of an inch allowance okay, around so the outside. Okay, so just use the foot as a guide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just go all the way around like this. Yep. And I do, I mean, a lot of machines say you can just go over the pins, but I always like to take the pins out. What yeah. do the instructors say? They said take the pins out. Okay. You, you know, you don't want to break the machines. No, it's not. But you don't don't usually break the machine. You uh -huh. break the needle. Needle. And then it's such a pain because you have to change the needle. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, I broke so many needles on my mother's little Singer sewing machine when I was growing oh, up. Oh gosh, no. But now curvy has nothing to do with the fact that it can actually sew around curves because all sewing machines. So around, around the curves. curves. Okay. We're actually going to go ahead and swap out. Okay. Our solid piece is already done. Okay. Um, to those of you watching at home, you just want to make sure you do a quarter of an inch along the tops as well, and that's oh. done for us All already. Right. So now we need uh, we need to put right sides of the liner with right sides of the. Uh... We're going to turn this right side out because okay. it's still flipped. Now what about what about clipping the curves? We don't have to do that. Oh, but you should. We probably should. You but should. I think because <laughs> I think because you're such little beginners, they didn't really complicate probably. things too much. <laughs> but That's actually, I'll just tell because you, it'll, too much at it, one time. it will. <laughs> It will look better if you clip the curves. Okay. Next Either if time they're concave or convex, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you turn so this you're inside out. Turn it right side out, exactly, and you are actually going to stuff it into the pattern that we just completed. Now, are you going to press? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we are going to press it, though. Okay. Okay. See, so you didn't have Miss Bear, okay? Miss Bear <laughs> was a bear. Oh. I hope you're watching Miss Bear. She was my teacher. Oh, my gosh. If you didn't clip, if you didn't trim, if you didn't iron after oh. every single stitch, no. you were in big trouble. All okay, right. so this goes where? Inside? It goes right inside. You're just going to go okay. ahead and stuff so it in. So match the, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So you're putting right sides again together so you have a lining. Okay. Right. 
and we actually have one already done for you. All right, we'll get to you. that. Okay. Yep, right <laughs> I'm here. I'm talking so much. No, it's okay. It's All great. Right. All right. So, and so, so this looks sort of like a bib. That's exactly right. And that's exactly what I was going to say. You're going to pin along the neckline. If this oh, was a bib, okay. it would be the neckline. So you're going to go ahead and pin that around. We did. And we're going to go ahead and, and start the little sewing sleeves. that. And mm -hmm. don't, don't do the sleeves yet. Not yet. Okay. Just the neckline. And it's better okay. if you have the larger first. Um, arm I just first. Figured, I just yeah. figured that. And another, it took me a while to get that But one. <laughs> another nice feature of this machine is that it has an arm, a free arm. Mm -hmm. The old machines didn't have this, and you could. it was really hard to maneuver around armholes Absolutely. and things like that. Okay. All right. So, so. And then we just stitch all around here. Exactly. Okay, Still so. a quarter of an inch allowance. Oop, I went over a pin, and it was fine. <laughs> Miss Bear, please don't come here. <laughs> I loved Miss Bear. She was the best teacher other than my mom. Oh, was she? She was great. Okay, so you got yep. the idea about that. Yep, so, going all the way around. So trim to a quarter of an inch if you've made a mistake and <laughs> absolutely clip these down mm -hmm. to the, okay. Yep. There. So, so to those at home, the I next I wonder who's step... going to get all these fantastic bags that I'm making. I know. Mm. I was thinking that, too. <laughs> okay. So for everyone at home, kind of have your iron hot and ready because you're going to fold the arm, um, the armholes now a quarter of an inch as well. Okay. Um, you're going to press those down just to create a seam. I'm and just so... I'm snipping my curves. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then we are oh, going okay. to... Okay, so these are all pressed. Mm -hmm. all right. They're pressed Very, down yep. and ready for you. And you're actually going to take the long, on the, the, long me, arm. the long arm sleeve and you put your hand inside and you're going to flip the bag completely okay. inside out. You're going to stuff the solid back into the pattern. Okay. Hmm. Through the other arm, through either arm, right? Through the big opening. The big opening mm -hmm. again, okay. You see, all it's right. actually starting to look like a bag now. It is. It is. <laughs> yep. Look how nice. Yeah. Okay. So this goes back down into here. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. And then we're actually going to go ahead. We have this ahead. one here. Yep. Okay. So along the outside edges, and here is the completed bag. Fantastic. <laughs> Just do a little top stitching, and you pull this through like that. That's it. And you have a cute bag. All the information's on the website, all the instructions and detail, and... The template. Uh, I'm taking this in the subway. <laughs> That's right. It's perfect. It's really cute. And Jamila, you did a great job today. And Thank um, as thanks for appearing here on the show and for the three of you, too, who are uh, becoming really good and avid sewers, I hope, uh, Singer is giving each of you one of these curvy oh. machines. Oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, but what we really is we want to see uh, each and every one of your projects, okay? Yeah, and we will it. feature oh. the best ones. Oh, okay. Good, thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back.